Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the South Node in the third house in the natal horoscope. As most of you know, the South Node is connected with what we may have accentuated or overemphasized uh, generally in the first part of our lives up until about age 30, approximately. And then as we hit that point, we often feel compelled to go to the North Node, which is connected with our soul's mission or purpose, and we feel uh, a need to, to go into that direction. And while we might not eradicate the South Node qualities completely, we may integrate them a little bit with the uh, North Node. Anyway, first thing I want to get at is that with the South Node in the third house, uh, this could be uh, someone that may have uh, overemphasized maybe communication uh, with their neighbors, perhaps uh, people in their own community uh, when they would travel locally. This might have been something where this person was good at processing, assimilating information in, the, in their local area, dissemination of information as well. But at the same time, this may have precluded uh, people from perhaps uh, branching out of their own, I guess you could say, their general community or their happy confines, so to speak. And with the South Node in the third house, where this person might actually have had certain abilities to be able to communicate well, be verbose and articulate their thoughts and process ideas uh, in their local area, they don't. Uh, in a lot of their the communication might not have been connected with their own ideas. Some of it may have. What the, the North Node is the calling for that is to branch out and kind of go uh, get out of, I guess you could say, the comfort zone, so to speak, and broaden the horizons and kind of expand uh, the learning. When, and this strongly can be connected with higher education, this could be going to like a college, university, or perhaps some vocational school, and something uh, there might even, uh, these people might even feel compelled or some of them to maybe perhaps go to another country and just expand their, their knowledge as far as other cultures go. This person might be well informed about things in their own local area, but this could be the person that may have become complacent to some degree and perhaps somewhat relaxed in terms of what they uh, knew though, as far as their own area goes. Now this could be kind of like going from maybe that, that streetwise person into somebody that can uh, really learn perhaps more on a profound level. The ninth house is also connected with publishing, so for me the way I look at this is that this could be somebody that can bring an ability to communicate and articulate into perhaps writing a book or more and, and publishing it and perhaps maybe uh, flourishing uh, with this. This could be a person that maybe uh, goes um, somewhere to maybe learn about religion and uh, maybe philosophy as well. Uh, this person, obviously, with the South Node in the third house, has shown, uh, may have shown a strong propensity to be able to um, have have diction, be able to speak, and acquire information and knowledge from from people from who they know and whom they're acquainted with. But what this the calling is for going from the South Node in the third to the North Node in the in the, uh, in the ninth is for the person to perhaps incorporate their, their knowledge that they have, whatever they, they've, um, I guess you could say, maybe what they've learned uh, to some degree on as far as in their local area. They have the, they've proven, I guess I say, they have proven the ability that they could learn, they could process information. Now it's about taking that ability to be learned, to be able to uh, absorb or assimilate information and apply this into uh, something which might uh, better enhance uh, their lives and this would be more or less going out of the box uh, so to speak. And uh, 
The ninth house also rules in-laws, and this could be somebody that maybe was uh, more immersed in the, maybe uh, with brothers and sisters, and maybe this was something where, I'm not saying brothers and sisters may have been to this person's detriment, but maybe there was something where this person could have had maybe a little more communication uh, with in-laws, if applicable, if the person has them, and maybe uh, open up the communication with uh, their in-laws, whether it's um, mother or father-in-law or brother, sister-in-law. Uh, that's something uh, that's possible with this node, uh, these node placements. So um, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the south node in the third house in the natal chart. And stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about the south node in the fourth house in an natal horoscope. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people stay well.